This is the new Mercedes C-Class, but could it be the most luxurious small saloon when it goes on sale this year? Well, you're going to find out as I reveal the CarWow Top 10 Things you need to know about it. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. The new Mercedes C-Class looks pretty similar to the old model, especially from the side. Okay, so Mercedes has ditched a few of the creases on the doors, but... That's about it. Busy day at the design studio, was it, guys? Hmm. At least Mercedes designers have come up with some new alloy wheels, from 17 to 19 inches, if you're wondering. And they did change a fair bit at the front of the car, too. The headlights are thinner than on the old model, and when you combine these with the downturn grille, it makes the new C-Class look really angry, like it's sort of scowling at you. If you get an AMG line version, this new grille is actually made up of loads of tiny Mercedes logos, just in case you miss the massive three-pointed star in the middle. Underneath all this, you get a new front bumper with plenty of black air intakes and vents, although most of these don't actually lead anywhere. They're fake. Things have changed at the back too. The old car's chunky rounded brake lights have gone. Now you get some pointed triangular lamps. They look like they've been nicked off a CLS actually. The vertical vents on each side of the bumper look pretty similar to the old C-Class though. And so do the chrome exhaust tips, although you can bet that these will be, uh, yeah, once again, fake. But what do you think? Do you prefer it to BMW 3 Series, an Audi A4, or even a Tesla Model 3? Well, I'll put a pinned comment below this video where you can vote to give your verdict. Unlike the outside, the new Mercedes C-Class looks completely different to the old car on the inside. For starters, you get a massive central infotainment system that looks very similar to what you get in the new S-Class. But I'll get into more of that later. The dashboard looks totally different too. It gets a cool sweeping design that joins up with the center console. It's all much simpler than the old car's interior. There's no rotary wheel or touchpad, and you only get one small row of physical buttons underneath the touchscreen. The driver's display is completely separate from the main infotainment screen, just like in the S-Class. And you get Mercedes' latest steering wheel design, which has lovely thin spokes and a load of touch-sensitive buttons. The three main air vents have been tweaked as well, so instead of the old car's turbine design, they get this simpler square shape. But don't go thinking that this new C-Class is all about form over function, because it's actually a bit roomier inside than the old car. You get 13 millimeters more headroom in the back seats and there's also 35 millimeters more knee room so tall passengers should have a bit more space to get comfy you'll be able to get the new c-class with a range of four cylinder mild hybrid petrol and diesel engines there will be no six cylinder models this time though damn it but every model does get a nine speed automatic gearbox as standard which i suppose is a good thing the range kicks off with a c180 model with a 1.5 liter petrol engine hmm it makes 170 horsepower and does 0 to 60 in 8.6 seconds. So maybe it's not so bad after all. There is a quicker 204 horsepower version of that engine in the C200, which does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 7.3 seconds. The quickest petrol model before any AMG's go on sale is a C300. This comes with a 258 horsepower 2 litre engine and it does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 6 seconds flat. If you do a lot of long journeys, you'll probably want a diesel instead. And there are three models to choose from, all with 2 litre engines. There's the 160 63 horsepower C200D that does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 7.7 seconds, and a 200 horsepower C220D that does it in 7.3 seconds. The quickest diesel is the C300D. This gets a more powerful 265 horsepower 2 litre engine, so it does 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. If you need a bit more traction, you can get four wheel drive in the C200, C300, and C220D models. The old C-Class's infotainment system wasn't the best in the world, especially with that stuck-on display above the dashboard. But the new car's portrait touchscreen looks great. It really does look like a mini S-Class inside. There aren't really any physical buttons in the cabin because most of the car's functions are controlled through the central screen. And I really like the way it looks like it's hovering in front of the dashboard. Entry-level models come with a 10-inch screen, but you can get this larger 12-inch display on higher specification cars. And the same goes for the digital driver's display. That starts at 10 inches, but goes up to 12 inches, on more expensive models. Ooh, uh. Both screens run the latest version of Mercedes MBUX infotainment software, so you get satellite navigation, smartphone mirroring, and the Hey Mercedes personal assistant. In other Mercedes models, this isn't as good as BMW's personal assistant, but it's been upgraded for the new C-Class. Now, it can recognize more commands in plain English, and it can connect to your smart devices at home as well, so you can turn the central heating on while you're driving. You can even ask the car if there's anyone in your house, but you don't want someone messing
bouncing around with your smart TV if you lend them your car. So it's a good thing that you can lock up this system by using special fingerprint scanner technology underneath the touchscreen. Every new Mercedes C-Class comes with a 48 volt mild hybrid system as standard, even the entry level cars. This means every petrol and diesel engine comes with a small 20 horsepower electric motor attached to it. This gives the engine a boost when you accelerate and it helps recharge the car's battery when you brake. You won't be able to drive these new mild hybrids in electric only mode though. For that, you'll want the new C-Class plug-in hybrid. This gets a 204 horsepower petrol engine and a 129 horsepower electric motor, which combine to make 313 horsepower. The 25 kilowatt hour battery can power the car for around 60 miles in electric only mode, which is twice as far as the old C-Class plug-in hybrid could manage. And you can recharge the battery in about half an hour using a 55 kilowatt charger. As well as the saloon, Mercedes has also revealed the new C-Class estate, and it's the car to get if you have a couple of big dogs to carry about. It looks just like the saloon from the front, and it has the same narrow brake lights at the back, but it gets a much boxier rear end with a proper lift back tailgate opening. The boot's bigger than on the old C-Class estate too, so you can cram in 490 litres of stuff with the back seats in place. This capacity is actually 35 litres more than you get in the saloon, and it's 30 litres larger than the old C-Class estate too. It's still 5 litres shy of the capacity you get in the Audi A4 Avant. Still, if you need to carry loads more in the C-Class, you can just flip the back seats down, and then the space for 1,510 litres of luggage, which is 15 litres more luggage than the Audi can carry. So, na 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 Ingolstadt. Anyway, if you want to check out the latest offers on the Audi A4 Avant, there's a little banner that should be popping out in the top right hand corner of the screen if you click that you can go to car wow alternatively follow the link below the video mercedes has tweaked the new c-classes suspension to make it better to drive normal steel springs and regular dampers come as standard but you can pay extra for adaptive dampers with sporty and more comfortable settings if you pick a plug-in hybrid model you get adaptive air suspension for the rear wheels as standard you can also get rear wheel steering in the new c-class just like with the latest s-class and it'll be easy to drive in town too because with a system fitted the turning circle of the new c-class is 40 43 centimetres smaller than the old car's turning circle. Mercedes is being very secretive about AMG versions of the new C-Class, but they're definitely on the way, because prototypes have been spotted testing. Trouble is, these won't be coming with a twin-turbo 4-litre V8 like the old C63. That engine is just a bit too thirsty and produces too much carbon dioxide, so AMG is going to have to use a turbocharged 2-litre 4-cylinder hybrid engine instead. Yeah, you heard that right, AMG is going hybrid. Although, it's not all bad news, because the engine will probably be based on the 421 horsepower one you get in the AMG A45S. And if it comes with the same 129 horsepower electric motor as the C-Class plug-in hybrid, you'll end up with almost 550 horsepower. That's around 40 horsepower more than you get in the current C63S. Though, of course, it won't sound anywhere near as good as that V8 engine, but hey, there you go. Anyhow, there's also a chance that with this new car, you'll get four-wheel drive, like with the new BMW M3 to help it deal with all the extra power. Now, if you want to know more about the new BMW M3, I'll put a link which will be popping out in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You click that, you can go watch that video. Alternatively, there is a link below the video. Some of the latest S-Class's safety tech has filtered down to this new C-Class. This means the new car is now available with a driver assistance system that can accelerate, brake, and steer the car for you at speeds of up to 130 miles an hour. Well, when you're on an autobahn, anyway. Also, this adaptive cruise control system works on different types of roads, including in towns. It can also detect broken down cars ahead, and it'll help you steer around them at speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. You can also get the new car with a 360 degree camera system, which can spot speed limit signs by the roadsides and on motorway gantries, and it'll tell the cruise control to automatically ease off the accelerator when it spots them. It'll also warn you if you're about to drive through a red light or past a stop sign, and it can automatically apply the brakes if you're about to reverse into something in a crowded car park. Now, all this tech is very similar to that that I've tested on the new Mercedes S-Class, and if you want to watch my video of that, I put a link which will be popping out in the top right hand corner of the screen. And once again, it's also below the video. The new Mercedes C-Class will cost from around £38,000. These standard mile hybrid cars will go on sale in Europe on the 30th of March, but you'll have to wait a bit longer before they arrive in the UK. Might be to do with Brexit, might be to do with Covid, or a mixture of both. Anyhow, plug-in hybrid models will go on sale later this year, and they'll set you back more like £45,000. You won't be able to get hold of a faster AMG C63 though until 2022. And when it goes on sale, you're looking at around £80,000. Want to see how much you can save on a new car? Well, click on the deals box to go to CarWow. Or click the video window to watch another video. Oh, and don't forget to hit our logo to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our great content.